We are back here in Baltimore. It has been one week since our last YouTube upload. There's B-Rob, there's Andrew. This past weekend, we finished training camp with the New York Lizards. Our first game is coming up the end of the week against the Denver Outlaws, but today we wanna do something special. We are gonna host a game show that's based off of moments from the 16 day daily vlog, and we're gonna give away those nine Burn Pro handles that we saw that are pretty awesome. They're gonna be releasing pretty soon. Until then, I will be giving away not one, not two, but nine. You know what they call that? A good deal. Good deal! The good deals are still alive! <laughs> they never die. We don't need it. <sighs> All right, so hashtag AskBall is a channel favorite, and you guys have been sending questions throughout the beginning of our daily vlog, so we're gonna answer three of them and then jump into the game show giveaway. You know who I worked out with this morning? Jay Dyer. Jay! 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 That, that's who the question's about. He wants to know if Jay ever looked at you. He did, so Jay actually told us that he could hear us from the stands. We mentioned this in one of our other vlogs. From Aiden Shabak, he said, hashtag ask Paul, I'm just starting at Depot. Do you have any tips like what I should do against middies. I do, I have two tips for you. The first one is check out Defensive Academy. It's run by my buddies Kyle Hartzell and Tucker Durkin. They do a great job of defensive instruction. The second thing is backpedal. A lot of defenders, especially midfielders up top, they'll stay stationary and when a midfielder's dodging at them, they'll just try and cross check them or anticipate a move. The best defenders are backpedaling as I'm running at them, so backpedal. Good question, Aiden. Good deal. But since it's the NBA playoffs, I'm gonna give you guys my prediction. The Golden State Warriors go Steph Curry. Dude, they- Guys, yeah. I'm- Oh man. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. shit. Final question. This is from Michael O'Brien, who writes, Can you explain the market in growing sports like lacrosse? Where are the money and profits? What do you do outside of lacrosse? Can you run that back? I missed it. There's a lot of tension that's happening today. It's been seven days since our last vlog, and everyone wants to rip each other's throats out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so seriously, what was the question? So it's a really dense question. It's a great question and one that we talk about in the office fairly regularly. I'll give you a high level approach that we have. Sports today with technology and media have such an advantage and have such a unique approach to grow than sports of yesterday, which pretty much relied on television, print, and radio. Right now we have YouTube, we have Twitter, we have my podcast, we have email newsletters, we have our traditional games that we play in, the camps and clinics that we host. So it's this all-encompassing effort that folks like us are doing for lacrosse, folks like Kyle Harrison, Tom Schreiber, Rob Pinnell, Miles Jones, they're all doing their part as well. I think everyone for the most part is doing their best and working at it and we're seeing our sport grow. We also, it would also be great to, to be in the Olympics and it would be a good deal to um, be on SportsCenter every day. And it would also be a good deal to be on Casey Neistat's 368 vlog. Casey, invite us. Moving on from Ask Paul, episode four or five of our daily vlog, B-Rob and I made a big bet. Hopkins, Maryland game. It's approaching two weeks from now. It's gonna be at Homewood Field on a Saturday night. It's gonna be sold out. Are you gonna go? Are you gonna go? Unfortunately, I can't. We have a Lizards game. We're gonna keep hyping this Hopkins-Maryland game for the next two weeks, and then we're gonna give you our score predictions as the game gets closer. Until then, the banana bet stands. We discussed internally when the next daily vlog was gonna be. We got your feedback, and here we go. Drum roll. Week of the Final Four, leading through the Final Four in May. The daily vlog season two is back. We're gonna start in Baltimore, then go to Boston, then maybe New York. Then, we're maybe gonna leave the country again, who knows? Woo! How are the Mets doing, guys? Are they still winning? They're crushing still? Damn it. As soon as they start losing games, let me know and we'll hop on the phone. They have my number at this point. A lot of people have my number. You know, I've been working on my swing. I've just finally get my foot into it. You gonna go in the cage? Goom! Yeah, I went to the batting cages. Boom, here comes a pitch. Get those hips around. Boom! Rushed it. Last order of business. In two days, we are dropping our annual gear bag video. Lean into the season. Every year, the middle of April, leading into the first week of MLL season, I open up my gear bag. <laughs> Special wrinkle this year, we're giving away everything on Sideline Swap. Whoa, whoa. That's it. Are you sure? That sounds like a lot. Yeah, I'm not sure because I then have to find backup equipment for the first game of the season, but I think we'll be all right. We got enough equipment. I did get decals, so I'm not getting traded. Lizards, don't trade me. Oh, also, shout out this person. This is really good. This came in, Andrew, where'd this come from? England, came all the way from England just a few days too late. Boom, beer emoji, good deal. Okay. 
game show. We're giving away nine Burn Pro handles. Those ones you saw us in Tijuana messing with. The NHL style hockey handles. I use them at training camp. They're really great. They're light, lighter than my iPhone. And they're really strong, stronger than this. Now here are the rules. There are probably gonna be a lot of commenters that get the question right. So it's going to be up to B-Rob and Andrew to select which commenter that gets it right we're gonna give away one of the handles to. So don't blame me, blame them. <laughs> you guys can blame Mick, he's not even here. Yeah, blame Mick. Correct. For this game show, to get the answers, it'll probably require you to go back into some of the daily vlogs and watch them, and you'll find out why. Should we do number one? Okay, question number one. B-Rob and I had a weird thing during the daily vlogs where every time I had food, I would feed it to him first. Hey, you want some Red Bull? <laughs> <laughs> How many times did that happen? Question number two. I gave my number out a bunch. How many times did I give it out? That's my personal self. Question number three. I solicited two pro teams to play on. Which were they? Question number four. When B-Rob and I ate at Whole Foods, we talked about macronutrients. What are the three types of nutrients you need to have included in each of your meals? Question number five. Who is the wizard? Hint. He gave me this. Question number six, when I visited TLN's offices, how many kills did I get in that game of Fortnite? Oh, am I gonna whack this person when they don't know? It? Hint, it was more than RJ. Question number seven, how much did it cost me to get a second train ticket when I was late to New York? <sighs> Question number eight, second to last one, how many times did we say J? We're going to J's. And the final question for our major giveaway on the game show for the daily vlog season one, Burn Pro <laughs> Handles. So confusing. <laughs> so confusing. How many good deals did we call out from start to finish? Not including this vlog. Hope you enjoyed today's vlog, game show, and update on where we've all been. Make sure you comment your answers below. Do anything you can. Nothing's off the table on ways that you can win. That means email Andrew, tweet at me, ignore B-Rob, all that type of stuff works. Subscribe to this vlog. We want to get our account up to 140K in the next two days. I think that's ambitious. I think that's good. Go Terps. No. Go Hopkins. B-Rob's going to get a banana in his head. See you guys soon.